the newest premium tank on World of Tanks is here and today's video is going to cover the NM116 Panzerjäger and all of the update news that you'll need to know for this week on World of Tanks of course remember to let me know your thoughts on the update in the comment section down below let's get right into it so first things first the NM116 Panzerjäger we are going to be looking at what this thing can actually do in the game in terms of its statistics tomorrow there should be a video on on the tank itself a full review of the vehicle so you can uh, kind of get a feel for how it actually plays if you're not sure whether you want to purchase this thing but first things first how do you actually obtain it well unfortunately you are going to be having to buy it for uh, for actual uh, money which is of course one of the weakest parts of the bundle and the tank itself so 10,900 gold is what it's going to set you back if you want to purchase this thing and very very expensive for a vehicle it's going to cost you about 40 pounds or 60 dollars for one tank on one video game that's free so whether or not you think it's actually worth it is down to you but i never really suggest that full price tanks are ever really worth it um considering the amount of enjoyment you're going to get out of one singular tank on a game where you can play tons of free ones you know it's up to you though but Without further ado, what does this vehicle kind of play like? And if you've played Cold War and you got this tank as part of the season pass, uh, I think like three season passes ago, it is an amazing uh, tank. And although this might not translate 100% over to World War II, it gives a good indication of what the vehicle is going to be like. Of course, you can see the vehicle here in the game and what it actually looks like. It's kind of like a hybrid between the M24 Chaffee and a tank destroyer and a nice 240 alpha damage gun. And these are the statistics of the vehicle released into um into World War II and we've got 280 damage not 240 <laughs> as I correct myself but this vehicle super fast 61 kilometers an hour top speed fantastic exactly what you want on a vehicle like this you've also got um, a decent chunk of hit points nothing too spectacular at tier 8 it's probably one of the lowest on the tier 8 side um, but it's not anything really different to some of the light tanks at tier 8 so you're kind of on the same sort of level with those and that is kind of what you sacrifice by playing this tank over something else like a, uh, a heavily armored tank like the I don't know Ferdinand or something that might have a little bit more hit points but you know you, know, you get a lot to actually uh, use this tank in terms of the benefits so what are the benefits well you get 10 degrees of gun depression 15 degrees of elevation which is okay um, 262 millimeters of penetration on your standard rounds which is quite possibly one of the highest standard round penetrations of any tank on cold war uh, or on world war ii even and that is probably because it's translating from a cold war vehicle to world war ii and 262 millimeters of penetration means that you can go through pretty much every tank that you'll be meeting very very easily and any tier 8 tank will basically be penned through the front with 262 and then if you do need premium rounds, which, you know, up against tier 10, you might do 320 millimeters of penetration. This is one of the highest, probably the highest uh, tier eight penetration on any tank, including the BL10s, um, which are on the ISU-152K. Uh, so, yeah, this is a ridiculous amount of penetration and for a very small amount of damage comparatively so 280 damage very easy uh, and consistent and that's what this tank does it's super consistent when you're playing it you've got nine rounds a minute so you'll be reloading in about five seconds um, dealing 280 damage so there's quite a lot you've got two and a half thousand base dpm which for a tier eight is actually really really good factor that up because you've got advanced loader you can have rapid loading you can have ventilation you can have all of the other additional extras and you'll probably be looking at over 3000 damage per minute and that means that this tank is going to be horrible to come up against 6.7 second reload that will come down to about five and a half roughly um, speaking and of course uh, you guys can differ depending on what equipment stuff like that you set it up with but 
I think overall this tank is going to be devastating at tier 8 um, if you play it right. Now this tank is not going to be innately overpowered. I think it's going to be quite a high skill cap tank. So players that are kind of more advanced in terms of world of tanks, they've played a hell of a lot more battles, are going to really enjoy the NM116 because... It's flexible, it has everything you need, it's got armour, well not armour, that's the only one thing it doesn't have, but it has everything but armour um, that you need, so it's got decent DPM, well fantastic DPM for a tier 8, it's got really good mobility, it's um, stealthy, and you've also got good view range as well. So the four cut like the four main items that you really need, armor is like pretty low down on the list of what makes a really great tank. Um, but yeah, this is uh, quite possibly one of the nicest tanks I'm going to be seeing in a long time, and I will look forward to actually reviewing it for you guys. But remember, it will cost you a ton of money if you are wanting to pick it up. Then ten thousand nine hundred gold is what it's going to cost you at the base version and at the maximum version, sixteen and a half thousand gold, which I would never recommend. That's literally nearly like sixty pounds or something ridiculous for this vehicle, which is definitely not worth it even if it is the most broken premium tank in the world which probably won't be um, not for the majority of players anyway so here we go what do you actually get with this if you do decide to actually buy it well the nm116 panzieger bonus challenge will be available to you for five days only after you purchase the vehicle the latest it can be completed depending on when you purchase the tank is the 9th well 9 a.m on september 25th but why would you want to wait to get yours wow wargaming really pushing the uh, sales here but nonetheless you can see deal 20,000 or more damage in any number of battles and you'll get one day a premium and 150,000 silver which is kind of just like an additional extra um but yeah 10,900 gold way up do you think this tank is going to be what you like? Are you a more advanced player that's looking for something to kind of take you to the next level? Uh, then this tank might be for you. If you're a brand new player, I wouldn't really recommend it. And yeah, much like the Super Hellcat, this vehicle is a similar, but the tier 8 version. So yeah, looking forward to actually getting my hands on this. I'll do a full review for you tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's look at the other update news for this week, including the bundles and what you can expect from them. So first things first, what content changes do we have? Well, we have the urn challenge starting for the Rheinmetall Scorpion, uh, which is the uh, kind of September urn challenge. So you'll be able to pick up the tier eight German tank destroyer and the review of that vehicle will be coming soon. So you can get a gist as to whether you think grinding towards it is going to be a good idea coming on the channel this week as well um, we've also then got the premium bonus the contract for the deadbolt and we also have honoring heroes um, now the actual premium bonus for this week or the upcoming will be the bmp3 the is4 and the t110e4 now is4 is fantastic um, or very underrated actually in the game the t110e4 uh, <laughs> better version of the T110E3 in my personal opinion and of course if you want to check out the T110E3 I did a video yesterday on it uh, and it quite possibly is one of the worst tier 10s in the game in terms of um, if you are it basically limits you to actually being able to have like the top tier gameplays because of the tank itself not because the player that sat behind it yes the player can make it work but nine times out of ten uh, you're limited by the the map the tank and then it comes down to your skill level rather than the other way around, which is the typical vehicles where it's the player, then the tank, then the map. Um, so, yeah. Other than that, what else do we have? Well, the premium bonus, obviously getting you 50% more silver and 50% more XP towards those vehicles that we've just mentioned. Um, and then it comes in with the honoring heroes earn challenge where you can effectively get some extra kind of bonuses and they're pretty much uh, limited to what you can get um, and then we have bundles so the NM116 like we've talked about and then the Leopard VT2 is coming back on sale which is a brilliant uh, Cold War medium slash heavy tank hybrid -y type thing um, it's really really good um, probably one of the better uh, Cold War premiums I've ever played so yeah I mean if you're interested in Cold War then maybe time to get yourself a Leopard VT2 but they are expensive as we've already mentioned then Armoured Brawler 
bundle comes with the absolution and the excelsior the excelsior is just a meme it's terrible um but the absolution is really really good um yeah i don't know whether i'd buy it because it's probably 50 percent off or 60 percent off but nonetheless you know make of that what you will in addition to this, the deals of the week will come in the form of the T32A Proto, the autoloading tier 8 American heavy tank, uh, which is really, really decent. It's a solid tank, uh, probably not, you know, it's probably not going to be for everyone. The T32A is kind of a, uh, it's, an auto, it's kind of like a worse version of the T54E2, which is the um, the kind of renegade from those of you that know about World of Tanks PC, or the alternatively, it's the single shot slash hybrid autoloader that you can choose the guns between tier 8 premium that I believe was given away for free last year. Um, but other than that, we then get bundles where you can pick up the uh, silver boosters, one and a half times silver for 20 battles. Um, yeah that'll probably be like 50% off or something like that so yeah make of these what you will deals of the week are typically 50% off so you'll be able to pick up all of these for half price uh, and of course then moving on to the personal offers which come in the form of the Scorpion G as I've already mentioned don't buy the Scorpion G because the urn challenge is for the Rheinmetall Scorpion which is literally the same tank just not the skinned version and it won't cost you any money because it's free to earn if you can manage to earn it. If you can't then go ahead and buy it at 50% off because it is a brilliant premium tank but yeah just try and get it for free <laughs> that's probably the best option and then the stark strv s1 not my favorite tank i find it very boring to play this swedish tank destroyer at tier 8 and then the 112 which is the chinese uh tier 8 heavy tank which is uh, i mean it's okay it's nothing too special uh, but it is one of the olden goldies kind of probably doesn't play all too well anymore in the game but let me know what you think of this update news it's pretty quick and short and if you want to check out what the questions were then don't forget to check out the previous video where we covered all of the update news uh, for this release and of course the early showcase content that they went through so check out that video that will be on the right hand side of the screen and on the left hand side will be that T110E3 video which we showcase probably the worst tank in the game um, but yeah make of that what you will of course opinions may differ let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you there thank you very much and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day goodbye